In this video, we're going to take a look at getting started with web stories in Brizzy Cloud. But first of all, you may be asking, what exactly are they? Well, web stories are a mobile visual narrative that follows a different content consumption experience. The visual format lets you explore content by sliding from one piece of content to the next. No matter if you're a content creator, a marketer, or selling products, web stories can help you either creatively present the news, create a mobile landing page with a natural funnel, or appealingly showcase your products. So let's take a look at how we can do that inside Brizzy Cloud. To get started, let's create a new story. To do that, we simply click on the Stories option at the top and then choose to create a new project. We can now choose to create a new story and this now creates a story placeholder for us. All we need to do is go ahead, click on Edit Story and we can open up the modified editor for Brizzy Cloud. As you can see, things look a little bit different. We've still got a canvas that we can work with We've also still got the elements panel, although you will see we've got a slightly streamlined version inside you. These are tools specific to working with web stories. We can also go ahead and take a look at the various different styling options and customize this along with the color palette. Okay, so let's take a look at creating our first web story. First of all, I want to change the background color of our canvas. To do that, we come out to the section options in the top right hand corner, select, and again, you can see we've got the same experience as we have inside Brizzy Cloud. However, we have a slightly modified or stripped back version for web stories. Let's set our background color. We'll choose one of our global colors. In this example, we'll choose the purple color. And you can see the background has now been set. Now we can go ahead and add any elements we want in. So first of all, let's start off with a nice heading at the top. Let's grab our text and drop that onto our page. You can see what happens is it positions this new element into the center of the page. For this example, we don't want that in the center. So all we need to do is simply drag that to the position we want. And you see this is a lot more flexible way of working than we kind of have when we're working with the normal restrictions inside a web page. We can position this pretty much free form wherever we want. Now we can go ahead and change anything inside you. And you can see you've got all the normal options from the pop-up tools. So let's change the text. We can now go ahead and format this in any way we want. So let's change the alignment, let's change the color, again using one of our global colors, and let's change the typography and set this to be heading one. So we've got a nice bold heading at the top of our page. Okay, so there's our first part. Again, like I say, we can reposition this if we want to fine tune to make sure everything is perfect the way we want. So next up, let's add a little animation or Lottie file in. We'll click to add a new element. We'll choose the Lottie option and drag that onto our page. You can see, again, that drops that into the center of our page, but we can easily position this wherever we want. And we can also scale and resize this to make sure it gets exactly what we want from there. So you can see this is our Lottie animation, and we can go ahead and add our own Lottie animations. If we click, you can see we've got the option set there for the Lottie link, or we can upload a file, and we can choose how we want the file to be rendered, whether we use SVG or Canvas. We can set any other options inside this panel that we want, or we can leave it as it is. So we've got two sections inside here now, two different elements. We've got our title and our animation. Let's add one final item in. Let's go back to our elements, and this time we're going to grab a button, drop that onto our page, and then reposition that where we want. If we want to resize this, we can use the drag handles to re resize it, and then go ahead and reposition this, and change this to whatever we want. Okay, so now we've done that, we can go ahead and add our link in there, and you can see we can link to an external link, an internal link, or we can go to a file We've got lots of options inside you. And that's how easy it is to start creating your own customized layouts for your web stories. So right now, we've just created one part of our web story, one individual piece of the story. We can go ahead and add more. If we scroll down, you can see we get a visual preview of our current slide, we'll call it. If we want to add more, we can click on the plus. Now you can see this gives us an option to create our own, which is what we've just done, or we can grab any of the pre-designed templates and use those as a starting point or use them exactly as they are. Again, you can see all those are categorized on the left-hand side. So if you're looking for something for free, for example, you can see there's all the free options. If you're looking for something to do with food, services, events, and so on. So let's say we like the look of this one. All we need to do is click on it, and this will then show us all the different variations we've got inside this particular story. So we can take any of these and use them in any way, shape, or form. So if we like the look of this one with the date on, we can select it, and we can say import this story. Much the same as everything else inside Brizzy Cloud, we can also go ahead and replace the global styling. For this example, we'll leave the story as it is, and we'll say import. You can see this now has pulled in the second story for us. We can go ahead now and start to customize anything to do with this. So all our global colors are available. If you want to change the typography, the fonts, the background, 
all of those options are available inside here. Then once we've finished, all we need to do is go ahead, we'll save this draft, and then you can simply come in and choose to publish the page. And that's your entire web story created all inside the Brizzy Cloud Editor. Okay, so with that published, let's go ahead and preview our web story to see how it all looks. Let's let it preview. And you can see there's our web story. We can now simply go through each of the different elements and see exactly what each one looks like to make sure it's pixel perfect and ready to go.